MCV for you one chapter one session two in this session we are going to work on questions on page two and three from the textbook question one determine the slope of the line passing through each of the following pairs of points let's do part F slope is y2 minus y1 minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 negative 1 over 2 divided by x2 minus x1 7 over 4 minus 3 over 4 which is 4 over 4 that is 1 therefore the slope of the line passing through the given points is negative 1 over 2 question 2 determine the equation of a line for given information let's do part a c e and f part a slope is 4 y intercept is negative 2 substitute the given slope and y intercept into y equals mx plus b you have y equals 4x minus 2 the line passing through negative 1 and 6 4 and 12 slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 12 minus 6 divided by 4 minus minus 1 which is 6 over 5 y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 y minus 6 equals 6 over 5 times x minus 1 we can times both sides by 5 and bring everything to the right side to write it in standard form Part E, a vertical line through negative 3 and 5. x equals negative 3 is the equation of the vertical line, and y equals 5 is the equation of the horizontal line passing through negative 3 and 5. Question 3, evaluate for x equals 2. Let's do part D. f of 2 is 5 times 2 plus 2 12 to the power of 2 1 for d4 question 4 for f of x equals x over x2 plus 4 determine each of the following values f of negative 10 if we plug negative 10 into the given function we have negative 10 over 100 plus 4 which is negative 10 over 104 negative 5 over 52 f of 0 is 0 over 4 that is 0 question number 5 consider function f given by f of x equals square root of 3 minus x if x is less than 0 square root of 3 plus x if x is greater or equal than 0 calculate each of the following let's do part a and D it's a piecewise function when x is less than 0 f of x equals square root of 3 minus x therefore f of negative 33 is square root of 3 minus minus 33 square root of 36 which is 6 and f of 3 is square root of 3 plus 3 3 is greater than 0 it is square root of 6 question 6 the function s is defined for t greater than negative 3 by s at t equals 1 over t if t is between negative 3 and 0 5 when t is 0 and t3 if t is greater than 0 it's a piecewise function the domain of the function is t greater than negative 3 t is independent variable and s is dependent variable evaluate each of the following let's do part a c and e s at negative 2 negative 2 is between negative 3 and 0 therefore we use 1 over t and the answer would be negative 1 over 2. 
S at zero is given, then T is zero, S is five. Therefore, S at zero is five. S at 100, then T is greater than zero, S at T is three to the power, T to the power of three. Therefore, S at 100 is 100 to the power of three, which is 10 to the power of three, uh, 10 to the power of six. Question seven, expand and simplify each of the following expression in standard form. Let's do part C and E. X times five X minus three minus 2x times 3x plus 2. x times 5x minus 3 is 5x2 minus 3x. Minus 2x times 3x plus 2 is minus 6x2 minus 4x. If we collect the like terms, we have negative x2 minus 7x as Final answer. Part E, A to the power of 2 to the power of 3. We know A plus B to the power of 3 is A3 plus 3A2B plus 3AB2 plus B3. Therefore, A plus, three to, A plus 2 to the power of 3 is A3 plus 6A2 plus 12A. 2 to the power of 2 is 4 times 3, 12 times A plus 8. Question 8. Factor each of the following. Let's do A, C, and E. A is x3 minus x. x3 minus x is x times x2 minus 1, common factor. x2 minus 1 is difference of squares, x minus 1 times x plus 1. Therefore, x3 minus x is x times x minus 1 times x plus 1. Part C, 2x2 minus 7x plus 6. It's a quadratic trinomial. The leading coefficient is not 1. Sum of two numbers is negative 7, and the product is 12. The numbers are negative 3 and negative 4. We break down the middle term using negative 3 and negative 4. If we factor x between the first two terms and negative 2, between the last two terms, factor by grouping, we have x times 2x minus 3 minus 2 times 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3 is a common factor, and it can be written as 2x minus 3 times x minus 2. Part E, e 27x3 minus 64. It is difference of cubes, a3 minus b3 is a minus b times a2 plus ab plus b2. Therefore, 27x3 minus 64 is 3x minus 4. 3x to the power of 3 is 27x3. 4 to the power of 3 is 64 times 9x2 plus 12x plus 16. Question 9. Determine the domain of each function. Let's do part A, B, and E. Part A, we deal with square root of x plus 5. x plus 5 should be greater or equal than 0. That means x should be greater than negative 5. Therefore, the domain of the function is all real numbers 
greater or equal than negative 5. B, it's a polynomial, therefore the domain is all real numbers. We use interval notation, it's going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity. Part E, we deal with the fraction. The denominator of the fraction shouldn't be 0. If we set it to 0, we get x equals negative 1 and 3 over 2 if we factor it. Therefore, domain is all real numbers except 3 over 2 and negative 1. Question number 10. The height of a model rocket in flight can be modeled by h of t equals negative 4.92 plus 25t plus 2, where h is the height in meters and t time in seconds. Determine the average rate of change in the model rocket's height with respect to time during the first and second second. For part A, average rate of change is h of 1 minus h of 0 divided by 1 minus 0. And for part B, it is h of 2 minus h of 1 divided by 2 minus 1. h of 1 is 22.1. H of 2 is 32.4. The answer, and H of 0 is 2. The answer in part A is 20.1 meters per second. For part B, it is 10.3 meters per second. Question number 11. The volume of water in the hot tub modeled by Vt equals 1600 minus T2 over 9, where V is the volume in liter and T is minute. T is between 0 and 120. Determine the average rate of change in volume during the first hour. You have to find V at 60 minus V at 0 divided by 60 minus 0. V at 60 is... Uh, the question is, is find the rate of change in volume during the second hours. So it is V at 120 minus V at 60 divided by 120 minus 60. Which is 0 minus 1200 divided by 60. It is minus 20 liters per minute. The next part is estimating the instantaneous rate of change of volume after exactly 60 minutes. To estimate the estimate uh, instantaneous rate of change, we use the average rate of change over the interval 59 and 61.
we get 61 is 1186.56 if you plug in 61 into the given function b at 59 is 1213.22 divided by 2 which is negative 13.33 liters per minute. So instantaneous rate of change of volume after exactly 60 minutes is negative 13.33 30, liter per minute approximately. Part C, explain why all estimates of instantaneous rate of change in the volume where t is between 0 and 120 results in negative value. The instantaneous rate of change in volume is negative when t is between 0 and 120 because the volume of water in the hot tub is always decreasing during that period of time. It's a negative change. Last question, question number 12. Sketch the graph of f of x equals negative 2 times x minus 3 to the power of 2 plus 4. Draw the tangent line at point 5 and f of 5 and estimate the slope. Estimate instantaneous rate of change in f of x when x is 5. It's a quadratic function. In vertex form, vertex is 3 and 4. The leading coefficient is negative, so it is a parabola downward, and the vertex is 3 and 2. The graph of this parabola is. Drawn here, you go to 3 and 4, the vertex, then we draw this because the leading coefficient is negative 2, it is downward. If we move one unit to the right and two units down from the vertex to the right and left, we have two more points. The point 5 and f of 5 is 5 and negative 4, and the tangent line is drawn here. To find the slope of this line, we pick two points on the line and find rise over run. By doing this, we'll see the slope of the tangent line is negative 8. Since the slope of the tangent line is negative 8, the instantaneous rate of change at 0.5 and negative 4 is also negative 8. Thanks for watching.